All right, guys. Hey, Tony, our cabin woods. Today's project I'm going to start doing is uh, I'm going to mess with my wash machine. Um, it is. Hey, Willow, what you doing, baby? Um, can you say good morning, everybody? Huh? Can you say good morning? Hello. I love you. You gonna say I love you? What? Are you gonna say I love you? Say it. I love you. Say it. Come on. I guess she's camera shy. Anyway, I've got to. I'm going to. They say the water level in our washing machine is low. It's been like that, and um, you can adjust it. Uh, there, they say you can't. There is a, uh, a screw in the back of a pressure sensor that um, you can turn. It actually has a thread lock glue on it to keep it in its spot, so it's like tamper proof. But you can turn it and you can adjust it. And then when I'm done, I'll, I don't have no thread lock here, so I got to run in town later on this afternoon. I'll pick some up, and later tonight I'll put a drip on there and seal it up again. But this is the wash machine we've got. Look at honey. It's just a GE. Nothing fancy. I don't want fancy. We bought these brand new. The fancies always break. I have so many friends that have new, that bought new, and they've thrown away and they went back to this stuff. This is not, this, this washer machine does not have the, um, it senses the level of water. I told them I don't want that. I want one that's hardcore the way they've been built for 50 years. But the new one. And this is what we got. Here's the wash machine and dryer the same way. They're cheap versions and uh, five years. Um, I, I, I have a friend that has gone through two front end load wash machines now in five years. And I told him he's nuts. You change it. Uh, water level usually ends up somewhere around in this area. I don't know, somewhere in this area. I don't know if you can see it, I'm pointing to. It ends up in here somewhere. And when you get a load, that's not a lot. And that lint can get in there. We've get lint, we're getting lint stains in here. And what it is, is back behind this panel, right back here, and I'll take this panel off, and I'll show you what's back there. Um, when I take this panel off, there's going to be a diaphragm. There's going to, you're going to see a clear hose behind here when this comes off. And on that clear hose, it'll connect to this diaphragm. And then there's going to be a set screw, a, a shiny little bolt or screw sitting in there on the side of it. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take it and turn it in. When we get in there, I'll show you more what it is, what goes on in there. But that's what we're going to do today. So um, there is three screws. I'm not going to pull this whole thing out of the wall. I'm just going to reach back and plug it. And uh, but there's three screws. They're uh, right one, two, three. I'm going to pull them out and I'll show you what you do from there. Though they're easy to get to, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. When you make the adjustment for your your tank, <coughs> excuse me. To raise the water there's a key thing about this that you cannot do where your water drain is for your wash machines back here okay your water drain you need to take a measurement of where the end of that hose goes down from the ground to that end I know I know it's hard me maybe hard for you to see it but where that goes down in there basically that's probably the bottom right there Probably another two inches. Take a measurement from the floor up to that area. Take the measurement that I will walk over here and do it from the floor up and kind of put my finger where I think it's at. Then I'll look inside the tank and I'll see kind of guesstimate where the water level is by looking inside the tank and then looking here. And what you not what you do not want to happen is you don't want that water level to come higher than the drain. And the reason is is when this machine is on and running, it will actually suck water out of your tank going down that drain. You'll get like a siphon and it'll suck water out and you don't want that to happen. I don't know if you can see the water level right back here. It's right down here. So we are, it's, it's, it's pretty low. And that is on max, super set. And it's, so it's pretty low. 
and see if I can't, uh, ouch. It's sitting right, I'm hitting the water right there. So we are four and a half inches from the top of this tank to the water. All right, now, what I did do is, I told you about the water drains right there. Okay, I went and measured the uh, water drain, and it's right around 28 inches high up is where it sits. So now what we're going to do, we're going to measure from the floor, kind of where I think the water level is. I'm going to guesstimate, but I'm going to try and we're going to get close as we can. I said the water level on, on the back drain is about 28 inches. So 28 inches is right here. Well, I can tell you the water level is probably easy down around 20, 23 inches is what I'm guessing. I, I know I'm pretty close to what I'm talking about. It's right in that area. I'm going to show you how you, how you can make your adjustment. There is, I, I'm not going to pull this thing out. The, uh, I got the electrical disconnector. There's three screws to come back here. Right here. There's one, two, three. And what's supposed to happen is, you're going to go, I'm going to try to, so you can see this, you pick, you'll tilt this forward. When you tilt it forward, you're going to pick it up a little bit and push it to the right. And then pick it up. There it is. Now we're open. All right, now. I'm going to aim this right here, and hopefully you all can see this when I point to it. Let's, uh, right down, right in here, right that bolt is your adjustment for your water pressure. So what we're going to end up doing is turning that screw in, probably, I'm going to go three quarters of a turn. So that little screw I'm pointing to right there is your adjustment screw. And maybe I think it's quarter inch. Let me uh it is not quarter inch, it's smaller. I'm gonna have to get another socket. Alright, that little screw right here. I have all kinds of sockets. They must have made their own size up because it's even rounded corners. Um uh, three three sixteenths won't work. 5.16s don't work, 5 millimeter don't work, 5.5 millimeter don't work, 6 millimeter don't work. It's all in between every one of them. It don't work. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to try to use a pair of pliers and turn it and uh, see if I can't break it loose. I'm going to try to move the camera over here, aim it down that way, and... Let's see if I can't turn that right there. We're going to turn it in to increase pressure. Okay, here we go. Yep, there it goes. It just popped loose. That's probably a quarter turn. I can't make big turns with it. It's slipping. There we go. All right. I believe I just turned to three quarters of a turn. How this how this works is you see this right here? This is a water line. Okay, the amount of water that's in there is pushing up air and water into this hose. And this is a pressure diaphragm. So what we're gonna do is if you took that screw and you turn it out, it's less pressure, so low water, it shuts it off. The, if you turn it in, you're pushing in on that diaphragm, so that means it takes it harder to push, so we should be able to get a higher water level. Uh, hopefully, I can just explain that to you. So, if we screw that in, into this, there's a diaphragm in here. It's an air diaphragm. If we screw that in, that means it takes more air to push it to make it click off. All right, by turning that screw that I showed you, that was behind here, I'm not going to pull it off now, but if I turn that screw in, I did raise the water level up one inch. And I turned it in about three quarters of an inch. So, right now we're touching water. Let me show you. We're touching water and we are 
about three and a quarter, and it was about four and a quarter or somewhere. So we did bring it up one inch. I'm not going to go no higher than that. We'll try that. And uh, that's how you adjust the water part, the water level in your um, wash machine. We'll see what happens. Okay, I just did a load. It's in the dryer now. I just shut the dryer off. And uh, it works perfect. Uh, actually, what I did do first is, because when you raise your water level up, the, the dirt and grime that's inside that tank, which wasn't too bad in this one because, um, you know, it's only five years old. Um, so, and I don't wash greasy clothes, just mainly me dirt. But anyway, still, when you raise that water level from... If it was down here, you raise it up here. Well, in between there, there will be a water line of dirtiness, and you want to get that out of there. So I ran a um, uh, a full load hot water with um, soap on its own, and I could actually see it was some dirt, dirty looking stuff floating in there. So I went and ran another load like that again, and rinsed it out real good. And then I ran another load with my dirty clothes that I use outside. So, if it was dirty, it'd get amongst my stuff. Then I did a load of towels, just triple doing checking, and I just ran a load of darks. So, I've been washing a lot of clothes, a lot of stuff. I've done several loads. It looks good. Everything's nice and clean inside. Uh, no debris left over. I think we've got that all out of there. I think this one turned out really good. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate you watching my channel. And, uh,. You know, tips on doing things, you know, try to get things fixed is always good to have and happen. And um, we'll just go from there. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching again. See you later. Bye.